And welcome back to Resident Evil 3, ladies and gentlemen. When we last left off, um, Jill escaped of sorts. Oh, nice. From the uh, uh, from the city on the train, but Nemesis kind of showed his ugly head and ruined the day. Um, all the survivors that we managed to round up so far have been killed. And as far as we know, Jill might be killed, question mark. But obviously it's Jill. We know that's not going to happen. Um, but Carlos and his buddy Tyrell here, I think he was called Tyrell, have managed to arrive at the RPD. We saw Brad take a hunk out of Marvin Brannan, uh, which is how in this version he gets, uh, he gets killed. Which is different, but it's cool. Right, what have we got going on here? Card ID security protocols. September 16, 1988. Each member of the forces has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anybody. Take great care using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. Well, alrighty then. Ooh. 16 AR rounds. Oh, hello. How do we... Uh, can we not... Get that? Oh, you tease me, game. There's no way to get those bullets. Damn you, game. In honour of who served... This bronze statue is dedicated to all the brave men and women who have given their lives so that others may live in freedom and safety. It is a tribute to all to our everyday heroes who valiantly protect and are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. We do it. <laughs> Raccoon Police Department. We do it. That's what they said. Uh, that's what Captain Capcom said when they went to remake Resident Evil 2. In that um, video that they put out. We do it! Oh. That fuck. That's how he died. Bump into him in Resident Evil 2. Ooh. Wait, are we going to have to fight liquors? Because... Oh. Couldn't be a zombie. No. Because we didn't fight Lickers in the original Resident Evil 2. We got the rather rubbish uh, drain demos instead, which were greatly improved for this version of the game. Oof. I didn't stick around. No. Huh? Uh, here we go. There's a zombie. Hey, friendy. I don't know how much damage this does. Is it comparable to a handgun? Ooh. Ooh, fuck. Hello. Well, you can't have my delicious man meat. But you can have my rifle. Big warm RPD welcome. Yeah, I guess so. So there's something in this operations room. Should I be saving the assault rifle? Ooh. Flash grenade. Uh sure, I guess. So we're clear. More ammo. Twenty. Nice. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, boy. Um. Right. Take the corridor. Let them come to me. Come on, you fucking bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh, get off me. Get your filthy zombie hands off me. Oh, you son of a bitch. What did I say about your filthy zombie hands? Ooh. Two for one deal. Nice. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. You got no head. Uh, you're not dead, though. Oh, I think you are now. Right. Yeah, I kind of want to be a little bit cautious with the handgun ammo. And like an absolute idiot, I haven't started my recorder. My timer, I should say. So. Ooh. Nice. So, we're going to have to guess how long this episode is, ladies and gentlemen. You dead? No, you are now. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. Come on. Come on, Carlos. There, you got it. You got it. Now, do we want to use a herb? Oh, what's that? Scope for the assault rifle. Sure. Adds a sight to allow for more accurate shots. Nice. Okay, cool. I can get behind that. Bullets. And we have a safe. Oh, red herb. Ah. Looky, looky. Access to bullets. Can't go through that. Now, do I want to use a herb? Uh, yes, sure. Why not? So, what's left in here? There's still stuff in here. Oh. September 20, arrest report. Name, Rodney Gray. Occupation, unemployed. Former electrician. Charges, unlawful creation and, on, and or possession of explosives. Subject was seen behaving suspiciously at uh, 1442... Uh, Box Street on September 18th, 1988. Subject's person was searched, producing one small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket. Leading to arrest on the charges listed above, a search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Subject was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Subject spoke feverishly when questions began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpse is attacked from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up, or you'll be more than just wet. Huh. <laughs> Got to get more bombs. They're coming soon. Got to hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect became to shake violently before resuming sh a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note, due to the suspect's unstable psychiatric conditions, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting... The results of a doctor's investigation into the suspect's condition. The explosives collected from the suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its administration into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Ooh. Well, okay then. All right.
Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah, nice. So, what else do we got in here? So, we just got that. Okay. Hmm. So, we can't get in the safety deposit room. Z down. Fuck you, Z. Kind of fucked up shooting cops. Yeah, yeah, it is, but they're not really cops anymore. They're not really anything anymore. They're just Zeds, horrible, filthy Zeddy bastards. Internal memo: Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant number three combination safe moved from Star's office to West office. Left, hang on, ooh. Oh, listen to that music, guys. Listen to the fucking music. Left. Uh, nine, right. Fifteen. Left. Seven. And that is the West Office F1. West of Ice 1F. Well, alrighty then. Oh my god, guys, the music! It does things to me. Good things. Well, if cameras kill those things, I'd be set. Yeah, right. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Right. Okay. Let's go see what was in this. This safe. What do you have for me? So, left nine. Like so, and then right 15, and then left 7. Ooh. Yeah, okay. How long are we going to be playing as Carlos then? And I'm hoping that we're not just taking all these things that Jill could be having later on. Copy that. Right, area looks clear for now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Because... Because nothing is easy, my friend. And the things that are easy aren't worth doing. That is why. Wasn't one DC... M has no M. Oh, one was cup. Ah, that's the same. Oh, flash grenade. That's the same as it was in uh, RE2. Huh. I can't remember if that combination is the same. An electronic gadget. Well, we'll have that bad boy. Guess we'll be doing this the explody way. Yeah. Sounds good to me. What's that? A note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, don't open it, please. Whilst you are out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realised that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during la uh, intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs 
uh, to find you since I know you don't have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out what you must, why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can, your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Fuck. Better not. Yeah. Yeah, he's the dude that comes out of the locker in RE2. Well, the only way is up, I guess. Come on, buddy. Let's dance. Well, he scratched. So flash grenades, eh? Hmm. Don't trust them. Oh, nice. Now, this was this the DC DCM? It was. I remember these. So are Flamo. Cool. So weird, like you can hear all this shuffling. But we can't go back this way. Oh, oh, a key. Totally missed that. Uh, where was the locked door? Uh, that was back through the west room, I think, wasn't it? I don't trust it now. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. That made me jump like fuck. Light him up. Fuck you, liquor. Oh, God. Yep, liquor's still tough. 99. Shit, guys. That actually made me jump out of my skin. That's the third time I've jumped on camera, I think, since I've started Let's Play. Oh, hey, friend. And the other two times were Alien Isolation. And it wasn't even the alien that made me jump. It was an exploding pipe. 106, okay. Oh. Right, so we can't do anything with that. Damn, it's not often a game makes me jump. Well done, Resident Evil. So what do we need? We need uh, 104, 106. One zero nine. Oh, so one zero four. We need one zero six. Does Jill get an assault rifle? Uh, I don't know. One zero nine. We get a grenade. I mean, that's cool, I suppose. So we need the battery, for sure. Mine now. Yeah. It's just a standard 9 volt jobby. Right. Um, ooh. 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 Ah, we can discard that. And can we combine those two? Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, now we... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking liquor bastard. 
We're clear. We're clear. Kind of want to be... Oof. Fuck. I wonder if that's the dude that came out of the... Uh, locker. We're clear. There's something banging on the other side of that. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. I don't think that's a very smart idea. So Carlos made that hole. Oh fuck. Hey zombies. Without explaining what we could hit. Reload. Come on, fresh magazine please. Oh man. This is why we've been saving all this ammo. I guess. <laughs> Any more for any more. Double tap, motherfucker. Any more of you cretins still alive? I think we're good. One at a time, take a number. Oh, fuck. That explains all the banging. Ooh. Sit down and shut up. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed your service today. Nice. Oh, nice. Definitely needed some more bullets after that. This asshole again. Alright, have one of those. Oof. Fuck. Fucking hell, you would have thought, considering their brains are exposed, they would be a lot weaker than they actually are. Ooh. Fuck. Now. There's a lot of these guys. I tell you what they did nail with this game, is the ambience. It is fucking incredible. Okay. I don't really want to run because liquors, man. Liquors fuck you up. Okay, we're good. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, I'm negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. What a dick. My brother's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Jill. I like him already. Yeah, you would. 
You heard what he said. But we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. And I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Hmm. Yeah, well, good luck with that. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Oh. I'll see what I can do, buddy. Well, that's useful already. Oh, it's a box room. Um, nice. Thanks, Rebecca. I believe that's Rebecca's pouch. Wesker's office. Anything good in Wesker's office? Is that Jill in the front row? Uh, yep, that is. That's our heroes. Uh, report on the mansion incident rejected. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident accumulated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiment being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Hmm. Yes, indeedy. Is that something else that we can search? Hmm. Wesker is a man of culture, I see. Another flash grenade. Ah, this is Barry's desk, I believe. There's the computer terminal. But we can't do anything. Is that a thank center instead of a think center? There's Chris's desk with one of his sister's jackets. Or maybe that's one of his jackets. They have a very similar taste, perhaps. Hmm. And they have a webcam. <laughs> very old webcam. Hey, how the fuck did they have internet fast enough back in 1998 where they can send video calls? But we don't have internet in this house fast enough until technically the end of this month. Uh, the 16th of this month. And then we will be getting a big internet upgrade. Finally. We should hopefully be up from about 10 megasecond to somewhere around 60 if we're lucky. 60, 70. Which again, still ain't exactly like the fastest internet in the world, but that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, so I think we've looted this place out. I'll definitely be happy. Well, me and the missus will definitely be happy with anything. Um, north uh, of 50, for sure. Hmm. Do we need that? I, I if If I drop this stuff, will Jill get it? Uh, I, mm, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Right, I don't think I've found anything useful, bud, but Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Really? You're gonna split up? And leave him on his own? <sighs> the Carlos Express. That bit with Carlos was really fun. I enjoyed that. I always thought in RE2, um, Sherry's section was okay. Ada's section was rubbish. I'm talking about the remake, of course. Uh, you're a big girl, Jill. Come on. 
Come on, Jill. You're good. You're good. Find a way above ground. Right, I'm going to make a break in the video here, guys. And I'm going to see how long I've actually been recording for. Possibly, Jill. So, I'll either see you in a second or... Till next time, guys.